recognize Kai. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? The house that must have been paid for with my dead friend stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor! Move up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna... Gee! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Ah, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just want to be away. <laughs> Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story. If you promise never to speak again. If you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Trisha. Tria, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Dead! The Trevor! Hey! Aww. Trip! Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I've seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the city.
This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake... Fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade. We do not know.